this video, we are going to take a look at an interesting dilution calculation question which was asked by one of the viewers and we will try and analyze the question, break it down and make it so that it's very easy for you to be able to do it going forward. And this I'm sure will be beneficial to the entire community. <laughs> Hello, this is Dr. Dankwa, and if this is your first time here and you like to learn pharmaceutical calculations, tips, tricks, and strategies, then start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So let's get right to it. The question says a cream contains 1.5 grams of hydrocortisone in 30 grams of cream. How much hydrocortisone must be added to make the final product contain 10% hydrocortisone? So there are two ways you can solve this question. And I'm actually going to show you both approaches. So the first approach is to use the allegation method. Now because our desired concentration is 10% and it's giving us a percentage strength, we want to determine the concentration of the hydrocortisone, which is the 1.5 grams of hydrocortisone in the 30 gram cream. We want to express the amount of hydrocortisone in the 30 gram cream as a percentage strength. That way it's very easy to use the allegation method. So the way we do that is to take the 1.5 grams. So we have 1.5 grams. We divide that by the total quantity, which is 30 grams. And make use of the definition of percentage strength. So here is weight and weight. And what that implies is that you have some quantity in grams divided by 100 grams. So when we go ahead and solve for our unknown, which is X, that will give us the percentage strength. So if we do the math, X is going to be equal to 1.5 grams times 100 grams divided by 30 grams. And that gives 5%. So we can go ahead and set up the allegation grid. And you have two vertical lines and two horizontal lines. And the way it works is your lower concentration goes to the bottom left, your desired concentration goes in the middle, and your higher concentration goes at the top left. So we know what our desired concentration should be. That's 10%. So that goes right here in the middle. And we have the concentration of the hydrocortisone in the 30 gram cream, which we determined to be 5%. So we definitely know that that is lower than the 10. So that will go to the bottom left. So we have five in the bottom left, which implies that we need to determine the higher strength. Now from the question, we are not actually told what the higher strength is, but we can deduce it from the phrasing of the question. That is something we want to be comfortable doing. So when it says how much hydrocortisone, the implication here is that the hydrocortisone is pure which implies that your concentration is 100%. So in the top left, we have 100%. So the way the allegation method works is you take your desired concentration, which is the 10, and from that you subtract the lower strength, which is five. So 10 minus five gives us five. And now that five goes in the top right, and that represents the number of parts of the pure hydrocortisone or the 100% concentration of hydrocortisone. Now, the next thing we do is we take the desired concentration, which is 10, and we subtract that from the higher concentration. So 100 minus 10 gives us 90, and that goes in the bottom right. So you have 90 in the bottom right, and that represents the number of parts of the 5% hydrocortisone cream. Now, if you need a more in-depth tutorial on the allegation method, I'm going to put links to several videos in the description and I'll link it in the card. So you can take a look at those videos and you see so many different examples on how the allegation method works. But for this question, we've determined the number of parts of the 5% and the number of parts of the 100%. And from the question, we know the quantity of the 5%. So we've been given 30 grams of the cream, which implies that the 90 parts represents the 30 grams. So we can set up a quick ratio and say the 90 parts goes with the 30 grams. And so the question becomes, if you have five parts, which is what we are looking for, the amount of the pure hydrocortisone, then what would be the quantity that you have? 
we can go ahead and solve for y which is our unknown so y equals 5 times 30 grams divided by 90 and that is going to be equal to 1.67 grams so the actual amount of hydrocortisone which needs to be added to the original cream is 1.67 grams now this is the first way you could actually solve this problem the next approach is to use the algebraic equation so let's take a look at how that actually works so because we have two components here that we are mixing to form the final product we're going to use the form of the algebraic equation which would be c1q1 plus c2q2 being equal to c final q final so C1 is concentration of the first component, Q1 is the quantity of the first component, and then C2 is the concentration of the second component, Q2 quantity of the second component, and CF concentration of your final product, where the QF is the final quantity. So just so we're on the same page, we would say our C1 is going to be 5%, which is the 5% that we determine here. It's actually the amount of the 1.5 grams of hydrocortisone in the 30 gram cream. So we know the quantity as well. So quantity is going to be 30 grams. Now your C2 is going to be the concentration of your hydrocortisone, which is pure. And so the concentration is 100%. And the quantity we actually do not know. That's what we're trying to determine. So we will call that Q2 as well. And then for CF, which is the final concentration, that is 10%. So we put that down. And our QF, which is the final quantity, is going to be the sum of Q1 and Q2. So QF is actually equal to Q1 plus Q2, which implies that QF is equal to 30 grams plus Q2. So now we can put all this information in the original equation. And so C1 is 5. So we have 5 times 30 grams plus 100 times Q2 equals 10 times 30 grams plus Q2. So we can go ahead and simplify the equation. So 5 times 30 grams gives us 150 grams plus 100 times Q2 gives us 100 Q2. And then we can distribute the 10 over the 30 plus Q2. So 10 times 30 grams gives us 300 grams plus 10 times Q2 gives us 10 Q2. So we can go ahead and subtract 10 Q2 from both sides. So now we'll have 100 Q2 minus 10 Q2 and that's going to be equal to 300 grams minus 150 grams basically subtracting 150 grams on both sides of the equation and then when we simplify we will end up with 90 Q2 equals 150 grams and then we can divide both sides by 90 which would imply that now your Q2 is equal to 1.67 grams so we do get the same answer regardless of the approach that we use now if you need a more exhaustive tutorial on how to use the algebraic method or you need to see several other examples i'll put links to numerous videos in the description and i'll link it in the cards as well so i hope you found this video tutorial useful if you did be sure to like it and share it and if you have any questions leave them in the comments and i'll get to them as soon as i see them if you'd like to learn more pharmaceutical calculations, tips, tricks, and strategies, then start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.